Well, as you know, the United States and the European Union are sharing a lot of common values, and I have had the great luck of benefiting from it on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Indeed, I joined 3M Company 35 years ago in Belgium and worked for them 25 years long all over Europe in different countries. And the last 10 years, I have been working for 3M in the US, leading one of their biggest divisions on, on a global basis. Now, since five months, I am back in Europe to run the 3M business for total uh, Europe. When you are sharing same values, we are also sharing same issues. And as you know, the last couple of years, the economical situation has been relatively tense on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean also. And as a consequence, unemployment is very high. Now, speaking about employment, AmCham Europe is a great friend of the European Union. The 150 members altogether are employing roughly 5 million people. We are, in many cases, net exporters. When I take 3M company, which I know better, of course, we employ 20,000 people in Europe, which is roughly 25% of our workforce. But our domestic revenue is only 20% of the total revenue of the company. So we are net exporters for the European Union all over the world. Point is, of course, to keep it that way. And I must admit that these days it's more difficult to attract investments in Europe from corporate America because the image and the credibility of the European Union has struggled a little bit based on several elements. So one of the elements, of course, is the kind of problems we have around governance, the lack of flexibility in the labor laws, and last but not least, the euro crisis are not helping us. But we are all uh, confident and we are all working hard to keep driving business for the European Union. And in order to do that, it all starts with good R&D. And all the companies present here, the 150 members of AmCham Europe, do have a lot of R&D capabilities in, in Europe. Speaking again about 3M, we have 20 technical centers in in Europe and one mega R&D center in Dusseldorf. And out of there, we are really driving innovation in line with the agenda of uh, the European Commission, in line with the 2020 strategic plan. We have a lot of innovation, all of us together, around renewable energy, around healthcare, around safety, around security, all points which are very important uh, for all of us. So I would really invite you to look into the details of what we can offer, and I thank you for your attention.